Did you know that around 2.2% of men and women will be diagnosed with urothelial cancer at some point in their lives? According to recent statistics, about 730,044 people are currently living with urothelial cancer in the United States. The good news is that the chances of survival are significantly higher, especially when it is caught early. Knowing the signs and symptoms can make a big difference in your health. What is urothelial cancer? Urothelial cancer is a group of cancers that begin in the urothelial cells, special cells that line much of the urinary tract. This system includes the bladder, ureters, renal pelvis, and urethra. While urothelial cancer can affect any of these organs, bladder cancer is the most common. Urothelial cancer begins when mutated cells grow faster and live longer than they normally would. In the bladder, this typically starts in the thin layer of cells that line the inside of the organ, also known as non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. As it progresses, it can grow into other layers of the bladder wall. This type is called muscle invasive bladder cancer. Over time, the cancer may grow outside the bladder into surrounding tissues or spread to other organs in the body. In the kidneys, urothelial cancer can start in the renal pelvis or ureters and follow a similar pattern of spread. Who is at risk for urothelial cancer? While bladder cancer can happen to anyone, certain groups are at higher risk. Smokers, for example, are three times more likely to develop urothelial cancer. Age also plays a key role. Urothelial cancer is most common as a person grows older, especially in the age group of 75 to 84. Other risk factors include exposure to workplace chemicals, past cancer treatments like radiation, and family history, all of which may be crucial for early detection and treatment. Understanding these risks can help you take steps toward prevention. What are the most common symptoms? While symptoms don't always appear right away, they are usually easy to notice when they do. Early signs may include blood in the urine, frequent urination, painful urination, or even back pain. As the cancer progresses, symptoms can get more serious like unintentional weight loss, fatigue, or in some cases, a mass or lump near the kidney area. If you notice any of these symptoms, it may be worth making an appointment to see a doctor. How is it diagnosed? Doctors use several methods to detect urothelial cancer. In addition to reviewing your medical history and performing physical exam, further testing is necessary. This may include urine tests and imaging techniques like x-rays, CT scans, ultrasounds, or MRIs to get detailed pictures of the bladder, kidneys, or ureters and to spot any abnormalities. Finally, to confirm the diagnosis, a biopsy of the affected area is performed. If you are diagnosed with urothelial cancer, your treatment plan will depend on the stage of the cancer. In early stages, the cancer might be confined to the lining of the bladder and can often be removed through surgery. In more advanced stages, when the cancer has invaded the muscle wall or spread to other organs, Treatments like chemotherapy and radiation may be needed to target cancer cells throughout the body. A newer treatment option is immunotherapy, which helps the body's immune system recognize and destroy cancer cells. This approach has shown great promise, especially for advanced urothelial cancer. Even with treatment, urothelial cancer is known for its high recurrence rate, which is why follow-up care is important. Regular checkups, monitoring, and early intervention are key to managing the disease and reducing the risk of it returning. At Massive Bio, we are here to guide you through your options, including access to cutting-edge clinical trials. Our mission is to support you in finding personalized treatments that match your specific diagnosis and needs, helping you take control of your health with the most up-to-date resources available.